This is the unit where the explosives were purposely detonated. A massive planned fire last week in Beaver Dam to destroy homemade explosives. First, there was a control detonation, all the result of what police say 28-year-old Benjamin Morrow did two weeks ago. He accidentally blew himself up with homemade explosives. Investigators have said there was no evidence leading them to believe that terrorism was involved in the Beaver Dam apartment explosion. But today they said new evidence could change that. That's still the mystery that hasn't been solved. That's correct. At this point, we do not understand why this was happening in his apartment building. The FBI is not commenting, and the search warrant in the investigation remains sealed by the court. We still are sifting through that information and trying to determine what happened and, and is there any relationships to anywhere else. Pretty coincidental, it seems like, you know, to have four explosions in Texas and then a local chemist up here. We found the Dixons from Oklahoma visiting Beaver Dam, and they're worried about family in Texas because of the bombings there. Who would expect something like this to happen in, you know, Beaver Dam? So far, police say there's no connection, but the search for answers continues. In Beaver Dam, Terry Tater, WISN 12 News. Well, here's what we do know about the suspect, Benjamin Morrow. He worked as a quality control technician for Richelieu Foods about a half a mile from the explosion. He was a graduate from a Christian college with a degree in pre-pharmacy, chemistry, and math. If you have any information, you're asked to call the FBI.